All right, so today we're looking over the Goddess team, a team that I believe will be getting some updates soon, maybe. End of year is coming and there's a few hype characters they could be releasing for the end of year festivals and one of them is Mael. So if they decide to be good, good three developers, all right, they, they will drop Mael for this end of year either at the end of November, we're getting close to uh, the November festival, or end of December would be crazy hype. Now, a few of you have already seen this video on your sub box yesterday with the same thumbnail and title. Now, the reason for that is because I have over 200,000 subscribers, but I still make stupid, stupid mistakes that someone with one month of experience shouldn't do. Um, I, I, I cut the video, rendered it, and I forgot to check, after rendering the video from Premiere, the video. I just uploaded, I just dragged it and uploaded because I was going I wanted to play Call of Duty, okay? I wanted <laughs> want to play COD. There's no COD! I need, to, I need to get Atomic, or not Atomic. What's the name of the camel? Uh, Poly, Poly Atomic, I think. I need to get Poly Camel, okay? So, no, nah, it's stupid. So, if you clicked on that video, I'm sorry, the audio was completely messed up. So I'm, I'm re-recording because I already deleted the file. I would delete the videos right right after I upload them, okay? I couldn't even just re-render the video <laughs> and re-upload the same time. I... Anyways, anyways, goddesses, right? We just got a patch note uh, for tomorrow's update and Kusok is the new uh, unit dropping. And this means nothing for goddesses, but I just know that if they drop another demon, they could be dropping another goddess uh, for the end of November. We'll see. There's so again so many options for characters for them, um, but I think goddesses, you know, right now are a pretty good team. They are for for sure on the top ten. I did make my top ten team list, which I'll upload at some point, um, and they are on. They're there. They are a team that can easily get to jump one. I wanted to make sure my, my top 10 list only contained teams that can get you champ one every single week. And Goddesses is there. You can easily do that with Goddesses. The only problem with Goddesses is the amount of teams that can counter it. So you will get many losses in the process of going to champ one, but you can still do it. It's like in this game, there's so many bots you face and stuff like that. So Goddesses are still up there. Uh, but again, so many teams counter it. It's a struggle. Let's say for me, right? Facing a player of the same level as me. So, other will. Demons will crush me. Dn will crush me. Reinhardt will crush me. Now for me will crush me. There's so many teams in the game that will crush me, especially if the enemy player is smart. And I think that's the big problem with Goddess is the amount of teams that can counter. But if Miles good, like borderline best unit in the game, hey, team's number one again. I think Liz... I kind of hate on her a little bit because she isn't as strong as some of the other festivals that have been released um, recently. But honestly, after she builds up, right? After she gets her passive maxed out, she is really good. Like, she can hit super hard. So I think she's not a unit that needs to be replaced whatsoever. I think the unit that needs to be replaced, honestly, is Green Sauriel. I love counter characters, right? Green Sauriel is uh i would definitely kill millions there's no way we don't green sauriel is honestly pretty good but when you look at this who are you replacing margaret margaret gives such good stab buffing oh please sauriel i think we kill okay uh yeah demons are tanky Margaret gives such stab buffing, the cleanse, the de damage reduction, the attack, the damage increase. I don't think Margaret is so easily replaceable. Uh, and then Liz, obviously, I think Liz is the pillar of the team. And then I'm using Blue Tarmi on the back, but realistically, most goddess players use Green Zaldras. I just didn't want to use Green Zaldras because I wanted to go like full goddess, right? Uh, but yeah, Goddess needs a back unit. We, we've, we've been known that. Goddess needs a back unit as well. Um, but in the front here, for the front characters, I think if we get a Mael that's like super good and can replace uh, the Saurio, I think we got a top team in our hands. Maybe number one, maybe number two team in the game. You know, again, I, I did hate on Liz, right? Um, as time has gone on. 
But if you really compare her to the other festivals, I feel like she is, as an anniversary character, kind of underwhelming. Uh, let's cleanse after that. I mean, if you really compare her to, like, I don't know, Esterosa. Esterosa makes the demon team. I guess she also makes the goddess team, but the demon team is crazy. Um, especially considering all the older characters that are in there, right? And still kicking off with uh, with Chandler and uh, this guy's in Assault Melee, which is... Assault Melee is still pretty good on the Esterosa team, right? So, I don't know. And then Merlin was underwhelming, and then now with Philo, she's like crazy, so... It just needs like one character. It, it's always like this. A lot of teams that aren't looking the best, if they just get like one character, it can be all that they need, right? Um... Now I'm gonna attack twice with Saurel so that he gets encroached. And then... I might even kill him here. I wanna get Saurel encroached now because... Um, then he will, he will cleanse it off next turn. Ooh, I should have AoE'd actually. Might have killed uh, Asterisa. Okay, quick tip. If you're facing Asterisa, Make sure to encroach your character on that turn, not let himself get uh, encroached in the following turn. No cleanse. I was really hoping for a cleanse. But sure. Um, that's fine. We can do this. I don't know. Old control would be great. You know, Red Tarmio having Drill's passive is a goddess that, you know, has some form of ult control, but you're not using Red Tarmiel because Red Tarmiel is better off being a link to Liz, right? So, this team has no ult control whatsoever. If the enemy has a taunt, so the end, right? The end is like the bane of the team's existence. If the enemy ult rushes, the only option you have is hope that your Liz kills them. But then they have damage reduction, so it's like really tough for that to happen. So I think that if, I don't know, Mao has ult control, some form of ult control, maybe he passively doesn't allow the enemies to get ultimate gauge. That would be crazy. I mean, right now, right? That wouldn't be the most OP thing ever. Just passively not allowing ever the enemies to get ultimate gauge. I don't think that would be OP because Asterosa team doesn't really rely on them, um, except at really like high levels. You you have a lot of matches that you end up winning because of Asterosa's ultimate, but um, in a general PvP match, you don't really rely on that. Uh, Mono Green team doesn't rely on that. Now for me team doesn't really rely on that. The only team that really relies on that is either the end Ultra Rush or Reinhardt. Reinhardt kind of does rely on that, and Reinhardt, you know. It would be a great counter to him because he is really powerful, right? Um, Liz should kill. Liz should for sure kill. This melee with Tarmiel link, bro. Tar I'm saying, you can't just not use Tarmiel as a link. He is so strong. As a link, opposed to being, you know, the unit on the field. Although... Okay. Getting lucky with the Sauriel uh, cards. I have Sauriel on the left to sp uh, only because, really, I uh, I want Sauriel to get an, a level 2 counter. <clears throat> so if he combines it, it's great. But, you know. Okay, we got a... Um... I did not blue cards to give myself damage reduction because I actually want to cleanse next turn. Triple stun! Wow, that's great for him! <laughs> <laughs> or not, because I'm, I'm, unless Margaret dies here, which could happen, uh, I'm just going to stun. Or sorry, I'm just going to cleanse. Could happen. I have a decent amount of damage reduction. Or sorry, of stats. I have no damage reduction. Yeah, decent amount of stats increased by um, the Liz passive. And... Margaret passive got one stack on that. Um, do you have Tarmiel link? It's Merlin. Tar yeah, Merlin had the Tarmiel link. 
Kind of a level 2. Honestly, kind of a level 2 and push ult. Just for the most damage reduction possible. Because this is kind of rough. I have a lot of stats now, though. Because of Liz. But maybe I should have gone for the kill on uh, Echidna, because she is going to hit hard. Ah, uh, level 2, no! Okay. Should have debuffed more, I don't know why he did that. Oh, he wants to level 2 with Merlin. Uh, you... Never! Ever! If you're using Merlin, never bank the DPS on Merlin. Merlin is not your DPS. God damn it. I can't heal. Sure, Akin is dead. And then I, I disabled the other two. Ah, I was really hoping that would have killed Echidna. Uh, I was really banking on Liz killing Echidna. I, I still targeted her with the ultimate, just to be sure. But I was really hoping that would have killed Echidna. Okay. If Green Sauriel dies... Right? And Liz survives... That will be really nice. Okay, she's disabled, so she's not doing the most there. Oh, the stun! I have no way of dealing with the stun. <sighs> we can survive this, actually. They're still both disabled by Margaret's ultimate. And we're gonna have damage reduction from Tarmio. Okay. Okay. My, no! My damage reduction! Oh no, this is disabled. Never mind. Haha! -ha. We're good. Even if Merlin's 6 6, I don't think she kills. Because she's disabled. Oh my god. Tarmio took more than I expected. Holy! Um. I'm killing you. I want to get Sauriel's ultimate. I, I, but I'm going to make sure. Liz is the hard, hardest damage dealer, so... I just want to make sure she dies. Yeah, like I said, Liz is the pillar of this team. <laughs> when she has max ultimate gauge and her passive, those AoEs hit hard. Okay. We're good now. We're good now. So, uh, Tarmio's gonna get stunned, but it's fun. Bro, did he hit a stun on Tarmio as well? Bro, what is this? The game is actually conspiring against me. What? What, what the hell? The <laughs> this guy, he, he lands a triple stun on the first turn, right? And then my fourth comes in, and my fourth also gets the stun on them? That's just unfair. That's not even like, not even, it's not even funny, it's just unfair. Oh god, anyways. I was gonna play one more, but this match has been so long because, you know. The game is doing tricks on me. Godless team, so close to greatness, so close. Am I even gonna win this? No, I am, because uh, Merlin, Merlin debuffs aren't infinite like Asterosa. Like Aster Asterosa Darkness. It actually runs out. Good. I was a little scared that the... Uh, maybe if I don't kill here, which I think I will still, but maybe if I didn't kill here, the, the fire thing, you would kill Sauro, but I killed anyways. So I, I'll, I hate to say the Sauro gotta go, but like... You know. Gotta make way for better things.